Uh, all right. There's a dragon. And I, uh, in, in the words of, of, of Bruce Campbell, everything's okay now. Everything's okay now. Nothing bad's going to happen. Everything's okay. If so that's I, how you want to see it. I just head to Heyman's shame. That's the way you want to see it. Yeah. I mean, there isn't a problem because I'm a god anyway. It's like, you know. I can handle a dragon. I'm a god. Clearly he will recognize that I am a god and not a, not a mummy. And uh, I'll be fine. By your silence, I take it you agree. Now, no. uh, so, so yeah, we had to hate and shame. What happens at hate and shame? Uh, I am writing in one item. And I'm placing one here. Ah, no, you need to be not there to be good. Oh, I don't have the grid line up properly. Okay, all right, we're just gonna do our best. Cool. I thought I see a blank screen. Well, yeah, you're gonna see a blank screen uh, because the fog of war turned on. Ha! Fine. I don't want to see the stupid map anyway. All will be revealed in due time. I, I like walking around in the dark, confused. That's what you're gonna have to do. It makes me feel like Alex, and you know, and, Eddie, and Eddie Brock, and I'm just gonna like be a player. I'm just gonna wander around and be confused, and then get chopped in half by a vampire. So there's a dragon that landed upon the t uh, the peaks above Hamar's Hamar's shame. Hamar's shame. Yeah, that thing. What did like like what what did Hamar do that was so shameful? Did did his pants fall down? Did, did... I don't know why it's called Hamar shame. I can tell you why it's called Hamar shame. It's just called Hamar. Shame. We should find Hamar and. Or if you want to know more, you can play Skyrim. I do need to actually play Skyrim. I've, I've played some of the other Elder Scrolls game, but I haven't played Skyrim. You know, I started playing Skyrim and I hated the whole like uh, the, the the opening so much that I like kind of turned me off to Skyrim. I understand. But, uh, yeah, so, um, walk into the peaks. Walk into Hamar Shame. Okay, so you're in a cave. Oh. Beautiful cave, right? Okay. Hamar Shame is a cave. Okay. And there's supposed to be a shrine inside this cave, right? Yes. Okay. I guess you're just going to walk down this cave. I, I, yeah, I'm going to go into the cave. All right, you're walking gotta, down gotta, the cave. I, I got to talk to a da da David Finn, Prince. This is the only way I know how to do it. I need to know if he. I, I need to know if he if he whispers to Trigon. This is what you see when you walk inside. <laughs> Darkness. <laughs> Darkness. I need, to, I, I, need to, I need to know if he sees with Trigon's six eyes. So, uh, which direction would you like to go, good sir? I don't see anything. What do you mean you don't see anything? It's just nothing but blank. There's like you're supposed to like. Uh, hold on, I have dark vision. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I did reveal part of the map. I can't see. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not looking at the map just yet. Right. Um. Or do I not have dark vision? I should have dark vision.
I may not have dark. How, how do I not have dark vision and I'm an undead? You're an undead. You don't have to have dark vision just for being an undead. You're supposed to, like, all undead are supposed to have dark vision 60 feet or something like that. Well, it's not on my character sheet, so I guess I can't see in the dark. All right, you can't see in the dark. But it's not dark, it's just... You yeah, haven't like, seen it nothing, yet. Nothing's revealed, I can't see... Like, it's just it's just a blank a blank uh, screen from where I'm at. Can you share it with me real quick? Oh, okay, now I see what you did. Ah! You did it for the other side, okay. Wait a minute, now it's you, like... Now you see it. Is, okay, is this the path? Yes, that is the path that you came in from the cave. This is where you started. Is this the cave entrance right here? Th this is the cave entrance. This is what you see when you get inside the cave. All right. And then you come, and you can see is all it, the way to here. Is this a wall? Yes. Hmm. Okay. I think I have something prepped for this. I think. Uh, I I do. Hold on. I'm going to enter. I will let you reprepare your spells because you've effectively had a couple of time and travel. That's yeah, true. I, I was I was I was going to bring that up actually. Um. But yeah, there's a specific spell that I think might be useful here that I had previously had prepped. Yeah. Um. I'm going to kneel and pray to Sobek and cast divination. Which version of divination is this? Uh, three point five. And I'm going to I'm going to pray to Sobek for advice. Sobek, crocodile god. I kneel down, I take my hood off, revealing my my bandaged mummy head. I pray, mighty Sobek, show me the way to this David Prince. What direction must I go in so I can do your will and summon forth the beast Trigon? So it may bring this and all worlds under your control. Okay, so Okay. Uh, okay. So you're you read eighty percent information. Mumble mumble mumble. Jack Kirby appears. And, uh, and he's like, well, what you, you should go to the left. And uh, a, uh, a figure appears off to your left and points does this figure around have, the corner. Does this figure have a crocodile head? Uh, it is just a, 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 like an energy field of, or figure. It, it just looks like a shadow of sorts. But it is not black. It is like gold. Thank you, mighty Sobek. I shall do your will. And I, uh, I head so off to the left. He appears here and Wait. points. You looking? I'm, I'm looking at the map. He appears here and points this direction. I w will do point on the do the thing because I can't. Yeah. Like like do your um okay down this way. Yeah, okay. he is here, and as you get here, you notice he pointed off in this direction. Okay. Is this a doorway? Walk that way? Is this a doorway or is this a passageway? It's a it's a passageway. All right, I I walk walk towards the passageway. Walk inside. I'm eaten by a giant tar monster. 
Not a giant tar monster. Okay. There's a number five in the middle of the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ignore that. Five. I understand. Forty-two. You walk in. Am I in the right? Yes. Objects. I, I recover my head with my cloak, by the way. And there are two giant spiders off on the other side of the room. Are they looking at me? Uh, they seem to be attending to a nest that they have built right around here. Okay. What's over here? Uh, that is another passageway. Okay. I am going to make a check of some kind. I'm going to make a hide check. Stealth? Uh, a stealth check, yes. Of 24. And I am going to... After doing that, I'm going to attempt to go here through this passageway without them noticing. I can take over this world with a legion of spiders. Uh, they don't notice you. Hooray! Skill checks! Spells! Using them to save the day! Yeah! Oh, my bad. I probably should have... Uh... This room has a C in it. And as we all know, Cs are important NPCs. Should have revealed that for you, too. Okay. Okay. C's stand for what? There is a C in the middle of the hallway. And as we all know, C's are important NPCs. The most important in the game, as a matter of fact. I take it by your silence, you agree. Good. I don't. What do I see in this hallway? Get it, C! Ha <laughs> ha! There's a letter C right here. <laughs> Are you going to walk here or here? So is there actually a letter C there? Or is it just, is it, does it represent something? Uh, or is it like just corridor? There is, uh, there is not a letter C there. But I would like for you to make me a perception check. Okay. Uh, 29. Aha! Your eyes, as black as they are, with no soul. Indeed. Notice that you could burn alive if you step on that square. Ah, oh, the trap. It is right here. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my passage ability to walk through this wall. And see who's on the other side. Uh, you are standing in the wall, and you peek your head out there. Give me a stealth check. Uh, okay. Uh, that would be 13. I need a human... This cave is full of blue people. Monsters by C R. Here you go. It's gonna be. It's Gilbert Godfrey. It's Sarah Michelle Gellar, and she's like, "This is the land of the three named people. How many names do you have? I have but two. And then, and then Sarah Jessica Parker comes out and says, "Death to the two named boy." The after you. Well, oh, after you. Probably. And then suddenly Lee Van Clee, Michael Clark Duncan, Edward G. Ross. 
and Tiffany Amber Thiessen came out, screaming death to the two-name boy. And then a bunch of Gentiles came out and said, excuse me, is this death of the Jew name boy? No, it's, it's the three name boy. Oh, well, the two name boy. Oh, well, oh, we're sorry. Never mind. And they walked away. And I ran and I ran and I ran. Two tall, dark skinned beings turn around and look at your face as it peers through the wall. What are they? How do they look? Tall, dark skinned humanoids. Tall, dark skinned humanoids. Um, and they look at me? They look at you. They notice you. They notice you completely. This one steps back. Excuse me. Uh, now, okay, what am I looking for again? I'm looking for the, uh, the, the, the Daedric Princes, is what they're called? You're looking for the Daedric Prince Shrine, uh, specifically the Shrine of Clavicus Vile. Excuse me. I am seeking the Shrine of Clavicus Vile. Is it anywhere near here? How did you get in here? How did you find this place? Who are you? I am Ramatet. I am a god. There's nothing beyond my power. Is this the shrine or is it not? I never heard of god like you before. Now you they have weapons have drawn, shields raised. I take my head back in the wall and I'm going to move this way along the wall since I can just stay inside the passage and <laughs> ignore them. <laughs> Just gonna stay inside the wall. I'm just gonna stay inside the wall. Fuck that. <laughs> so where are you moving? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm moving over here. Like, can I pop my head out this way and see what I see? Yeah, I pop out right there in the hallway. I've used one passage for uh, like I I can do it three times per day. So that's, that's one. <laughs> I just go down the hallway. <laughs> what, here? Yeah. Keep exploring. Which direction are you going to drive going through a hall? Um, well, what, what's over here when I get over here? Uh, this is a dead end. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to passage through this way. All right, pop my head through here carefully. What do I see in this room? Uh, there's really nothing of note. Maybe a few books lying around, but they look old and covered in dust. I examine the books. There's one about the history of Skyrim. Something about dragons long ago, and dragons once again will rise. How many books are there? Huh? How many books? Uh, that was one of them. It was about history of Skyrim, specifically about dragons. And the dragons will come. They will rise once again. They have fallen before. One person will be able to stop them. Something about prophecy. Does the book have a title? The Dragonborn. Dragon. Uh, there are other books. There is a book over... Some of the Daedric princes, princes, but it is in a language you cannot read. Most of it is. All you can figure is what the book is about, but it, you would need to learn a specific language to read the rest of it. Is it perhaps written in a magical language? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, does tongues give you the ability to read as well as, like, understand? As, as an or speak a different language.
Nope. Just to speak and understand the language of, an int- of any intelligent creature. Okay. Are these the only two books that are, uh, are here? Yeah. The only two that are actually not torn or rotted away. Okay. I'm going to take these books. You have a book over the Daedric Princes and a book over the Dragonborn. Okay. I'm going to search this door for traps. Ah. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. What do you perceive? Uh, 22. This door does not look like it would have any traps associated with it. Open the door. Do you walk through it? Walk through it. here. Search the door for traps. Perception? 15. You don't see anything noteworthy for traps. Okay. Alright, I open the door. Give me a reflex saving throw. (laughs) (laughs) You weren't even thinking about doing that until I actually said something. 22. Uh, you take five damage. Fire. Uh, that is after it is halved. Hold on. Uh, I, I have shit I can do. Okay. Um. Absorb blow as an immediate action whenever Ramatet takes a hit from uh, hit point damage from a single source, such as Dragon's Bath, a spell, or a weapon. You, I can expend one mythic uh, power to reduce the damage uh, I take from the source uh, by five per tier, which is ten, uh, to a minimum of zero of damage taken. Uh, if I have another ability or effect that reduces uh, the, the damage, such as protection from energy, reduce the damage uh, with Absorb Blow ability before applying any other... Uh, Damage reducing effect. For every 10 points of damage that this ability prevents, for one minute I gain damage reduction 1 uh, and 5 points of resistance against acid, cold, electricity, uh, fire, and sonic. The damage reduction resistances stack with other damage reduction resistances that I have. Um, it's only 5 damage, though, so I, I don't take any damage. So what happens is you take your gloved hand, you reach to grab the, the handle on the door. Yeah. And as soon as you begin to shove on the door, a large blast goes off. You manage to uh, jump out of the way before the blast fully goes off. You get hit by some of the fire, but it seems to wrap around you instead of actually hitting you. Yeah. Because my awesome mummy superhuman stamina. I can fight Superman! Yeah! Possibly. I chose to take Guardian instead of uh, Hero Fan. Because I was looking at the Mythic tiers, and they all look pretty cool, but I was like, yeah, Hero Fan looks fine, but a lot of these other ones look good, so I kind of rolled randomly, and then it was like, Guardian's like, mm. just, just you just sit there and just take it, like, ah! It's like, like, a fucking, Whoa, yeah, a so you dragon, turn into a tanky a cleric instead of a special cleric. A fucking dragon could just spread you out and just kick you right in the nuts, and you're like, mm. and you just take it, like, yeah! Mm. You just kick them back and, back and forth with each other until someone gives, because your testicles are that big. That's what guardian means. You know, yeah. So just mm, beefcake. So I I'm very happy I got to use my superpower. Okay, is the trap deactivated after blasting me? Um you aren't really sure of that. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm going to go right here. You're going to go here? Yeah. And I'm going to pass it for the last time into the wall. And I'm going to come out here. You're going to just go straight through? Yeah. What? Oh, there it is. 
Okay. Uh, and there's a person in the room. But I ignore the uh, person, for there's a number one in the room, and clearly that's the most important. <laughs> clearly that is more important. Yes. By the way, again, my robe, I, I have my cloak over my head. This uh, person appears to not be wearing any armor. Okay. Be sh significantly shorter than you. Not too much shorter. Maybe about a head shorter or so. How tall are you, actually? I'm medium size, but he's pretty big. He's like eight feet tall. Okay, yeah. So this person seems to be uh, significantly shorter than you. Okay. Of more pale skin. Okay. And has her hands raised as though she is about to cast some sort of spell. On me? Who are you? Greetings. I am Robotet. Pharaoh and of God. Tell me, is this huh. the shrine to the David Prince? A god, he says. Well, yes, you've come to the right place for the David Prince's shrine. I wish to, I wish to speak with the David Prince. Pray to him. Oh, good luck. luck. I've been trying to get him to talk for days. Perhaps with two of us, we can have more success. You say two of us? I will assist you in your endeavor if you will assist me in mine. Hmm, what would be your endeavor, good sir? Do you know the name Trigon? Never heard of that name? Trigon, destroyer of whole dimensions, universes. He is a powerful demon. My lady, the goddess of magic Circe, wishes to bring him forth, so he may swallow the world of Earth. I will do this for her, and when the time comes, she will be my queen. And we will well, I've heard of planes walking before. I've never met someone who does it. Indeed. I have such a power. Such is within the realm of gods. What is your quest? Can't really say I have one. More just trying to get by right now. But for that reason, you need to speak to the David Prince. I'd like to talk to him. Dangerous princes are quite powerful indeed. Then I will assist you, for I am as generous as I am kind. Kind and generous? Yes. Popping through a wall like that doesn't necessarily say that you're kind or generous. No, but it's a power that a pharaoh such as myself possesses. Hmm. Fine, come with me. We'll have a few spiders to deal with before we can get there. Hmm. I avoided them for the moment, but if you need help dispatching them, I can assist you. I, I follow her. <laughs> Basically, this diplomacy. is what you're gonna... Diplomacy, without having to roll diplomacy. That's right, exactly. Now I'm a crazy mummy. So y'all basically walk... Through this door, through here. This is all covered up. I can't see anything like by this beyond this point. Did you cover up again or something like that? Yeah, I covered back up. Because you're not there anymore. Okay. Where am I on the map? You were at the south end again where the spiders were. How did we get back here? You uh, you were here. Okay. You walked into this room. You walk here. Room? This room? So you were here. Okay. You walked here into this room. Okay. And then you walked around. Oh, okay. We went in a fucking circle. Yes. Okay. All right, because it's at the center. All right. So you have two spiders in each of the roll and shoot. Okay. Find those giant I'm spiders. Still, again. I'm actually still stealthing behind her. I need to find those giant spiders again. Uh, fifteen stealth check. That's not a giant spider. I rolled a nineteen. Uh, 
I know I should be better than this. Ah, Dave is the unready. Yes, I am vindicated. Here it is. No. Need to take another 15 minutes, like it does me. No, I just, I, I knew what it was. I had it pulled up. I, I looked for other things. That well, I while to. you're doing that, let's take a short break. I found it, though. Well, I need, it's 30, I've got 30 minutes. 